Hello everybody. Let us see a numerical on calculation of various leverages. From the following figures, calculate operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverages for Aditya Limited and Amar Limited. So there are two companies, Aditya Limited and Amar, Amar Limited, and we have to calculate operating, financial, and combine all three leverages by using the given data. What is given to us? Firstly, we know sales sales. Selling price per unit 75 rupees, 75 rupees each for both the companies. PV ratio. What is this profit volume ratio? Profit volume ratio is nothing but your contribution. So you can use the same value for contribution 40%, 60%. Fixed cost is given to us 40 lakhs, 60 lakh rupees. In capital structure, equity capital here is 20 lakhs, here it is 35 lakhs. Term loan here it is 15 lakhs at 18% interest rate, here it is only 10 lakhs at 17% interest rate. Production capacity 2 lakh units per annum and 3 lakh 50,000 units per annum. See, this is the capacity. This is how much maximum can be produced within the year. However, capacity utilization, they are not they are not running at 100% capacity. No company runs at 100% capacity. They always run below their capacity. So capacity utilization for Aditya Limited is 90% and for Amar Limited is 80%. So this is what the data given to us and using this data we have to calculate operating leverages, financial leverage and combined leverage. So here by the way capacity utilization 90% of 2 lakhs would be 1,80,000 units only and 80% of 3,50,000 would be 14 lakh units. That's it. Let us move ahead. Profitability statement of Aditya and Amar Limited. This is what we have to frame because it gives us whole data, whatever we need for calculation of leverages, the complete data can be absorbed by this single statement. That is why it is expected that we prepare this statement. What does it include? There are three columns, as I said, particular, Aditya Limited, Amar Limited. First is production units. Production units. Okay, this is 80% capacity, 1,80,000 and here it is. I think 90% capacity of 3,50,000. So it, it comes to 2,80,000 like units. Selling price is 70 by 75. Sales value or sales proceed. So it will be product multiplied by price. 1,80,000 like multiplied by 75 is 1 crore 35 lakhs. And here 2,80,000 like multiplied by 75 is 2, lakh 10, 2 crore 10 lakhs. These are the sales proceeds which are received. Now coming to contribution. Contribution as I said 40% and 60% is the contribution. So 40% of sales and 60% of sales. So 54 lakhs is out of the total sales and 1 crore 26 lakhs is out of this 2 crore 10 lakhs. That's your contribution. Less fixed cost. Since we have to calculate the contribution, we know sales minus variable cost is fixed cost. Anyways, here, once you deduct fixed cost from the sales figure, from your contribution, if you deduct fixed cost, we'll get EBIT. So 54 lakhs minus 40 lakhs will give you 14 lakh rupees. Your 1 crore 26 lakhs minus 60 lakhs will give 66 lakhs these, these are your EBIT then you will deduct interest from it to get EBT earnings before interest and tax sorry earnings before tax so once you deduct interest which is 270,000 how do we get interest based on the percentage the cost of capital of debt which is given in the question yes. so it is 270,000 and 170,000 now these, this is again calculated on the amount of cash how much debt has been raised by the company. On that basis, we would be calculating the interest. And last would be, when you deduct this in interest from EBIT, you will get EBT. So 66 lakh minus 1 lakh 70 thousand will give you 64 lakh 30 thousand. That's your income statement or profitability statement, which we have calculated for both Aditya Limited and Amar Limited. So, let us move to the calculations. First is operating leverage. Formula of operating leverage, we already know it, contribution upon EBIT. Now, now it's a very simple game. You just have to put in the values and calculate the answers. So, Aditya Limited, 54 lakhs upon. Uh, contribution is 54 lakhs upon. EBIT is 14 lakhs. When you divide it, you get 3.86. For Amar Limited, it is 1 crore 26 lakhs and 66 lakhs. So, it comes to 1.91. For operating operating leverage of Aditya Limited is 3.86 and operating leverage for Amar Limited is 1.91. The same thing now in case of financial leverage, 
formula is EBIT upon EBT. For this year, it is 14 lakhs upon 11 lakh 30 thousand, so it is 1.24. And here, 66 lakhs upon 64.30, it comes to 1.027. So that's your financial leverage for Aditya and Amar Limited. Combined leverage. Combined leverage is nothing but you just have to multiply the operating leverage with financial leverage. So it is 3.86 multiplied by 1.24 for Aditya Limited. You multiply it, you get 4.7864. For Amar Limited, you get 1.91. That's your Operating leverage multiplied by 1.027, we get 1.96157. So these are the final ratios of Aditya Limited and Amar Limited. Also remember to give a conclusion based on that. Conclusion is it is clear that leverages for Aditya Limited are greater than Amar Limited. So risk is higher of Aditya Limited than Amar Limited comparatively. I hope you have understood. That's it. This is what the problem is. There is no no other process or no other step which we have left it. That's it. The problem is over. Thank you.